So welcome and happy new year. So happy 2022. <laughs> okay, so I hope you had a great time spending your holiday season with your family and friends. So did you enjoy? Yes, of course. So I am teacher Anna and today we will continue our lesson about parables of Jesus. Okay? <laughs> okay, so hmm, what are parables? <laughs> so parables are stories that Jesus told in order to teach us important lessons about God's kingdom. Okay, so let us go back to our memory verse. Our memory verse in Hebrews 4, verse 12, NLT. Okay, let's read. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between the soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our inner thoughts, our innermost thoughts and desires. Okay, now let's try to memorize that with hand movements. Okay? Okay. So, for the Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, 
cutting between the soul and spirit, between joint and marrow, and it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Okay, one more time. Okay, so for the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword. Cutting between the soul and spirit, between joint and marrow, and it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Okay, last one. <laughs> okay, for the word of God is alive, is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting the soul and spirit between joint and marrow. So it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. Okay, good job. Okay, so keep memorizing our memory verse, okay? Okay, good job. So, hmm, let's go to our review of our previous lesson. So, who can still remember? <laughs> it was like two weeks ago. So, can you still remember it? Okay, let's try. So, our previous lesson was about the first Christmas. Hmm. Can you still remember it now? Okay, I'll give you some clues. It was about Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Okay, so it was about Christmas three love. So what did we learn about love? So first one, love trusts. Second one, love enables. And the third one, Love conquers all. Wow, good job. So today, we will be talking about another parable of Jesus. Okay, but first, let me just take a bite at my hot dog. Oh, mm, very yummy. Now, do you like hot dogs too? <laughs> what do you like to put in your hot dog? Ketchup? Yeah, I like that too. What else? Mustard? Yeah, I like putting mustard too in my hot dog. Like this. <laughs> right? It's very yummy. <laughs> well, did you know that Jesus also mentioned mustard? Well, mustard seeds in the bible <laughs> i know mustard to be a sauce but he but jesus also mentioned mustard seeds in the bible so it is one of the shorter parables of jesus that we can see in three different books in the bible so we can read it in matthew 13 31 to 32 Mark 4, 30 to 32, and Luke 13, 18 to 19. So let me read that to you. So, Matthew 13, 31 to 32, the kingdom of heaven is like a grain of mustard seed, which man took and sowed in his field which indeed is smaller than all other seeds, but when it is grown, it is greater than the herbs and becomes a tree. So the birds of the air come and lodge in its, in its branches. So Jesus used the parable of the mustard seed to illustrate the kingdom of heaven and faith. So let us watch the parable of the mustard seed and dig deeper on how and why God, God used it to give us a picture of heaven and faith like a mustard seed. So let us watch. Let's go.
Looks like heaven, doesn't it? As if you have seen heaven, Josh. But doesn't it look out of this world? I agree. But who has seen heaven anyway? This is going to be so beautiful. I am sure it will be. After all, God who created this world resides there. But I wish I knew what the kingdom of heaven is like. Well, Jesus did tell us about it through many parables. If you are interested, I can narrate them to you. Sure, Uncle. Please go ahead. We, we are, are ready, ready too. too. One day, Jesus was preaching to a large crowd of people. He said, With what can we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on earth. Yet, when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its branches. God uses small things to do great work. Who can ever imagine a tall tree when one sees a mustard seed or an acorn? But yet, these trees turn out to become safe homes for birds to reside. Think back to the time when Jesus walked this earth. So true. But we are children. What can we do? Stop thinking that you are young and small. Remember, Jesus can get big results from even the smallest thing you do for Him. All you need to do is to trust Jesus when He asks you to do something which may look insignificant for you. How can we show others that we love Jesus? Well, it's easy. You can show everyone that you love Jesus by saying a simple hello to other students at school, cleaning your room before your mother asks you to, praying at mealtimes, and more such good things. Doesn't it also mean that when we do simple things with love, we bring about the kingdom of heaven in somebody else's life? When the word of God is growing in your life, watered by your good words and deeds, you become more loving and caring persons. We, we want, want to give the word of God primary importance in our life. Can, can you help us? Sure, I'm very happy with you. But there is another helper sent by Jesus to be with us till the end of time. He is the Holy Spirit. Come now, let us ask His help. Hmm. So what can we learn in a mustard seed? Hmm. Well, first thing is that a mustard seed is so small. Right? Okay, look at that. It is very small. <laughs> and a mustard seed is so small like a dot. It seems like it doesn't amount to anything or it can't do anything, right? And also, a small seed can mean small things that you do for the kingdom of God. So in people's eyes, it may seem small and insignificant, not even noticeable at times, but God's kingdom likes to use small things and unexpected things and use them for great and mighty things. Example, God promised Abraham to be a great nation, but God gave Abraham, but what God gave to Abraham was a seed, a seed named Isaac, a one and only son. God promised to him with his wife, Sarah. And another one, Jesus is like a small seed, right? Born as a tiny little baby on a humble manger. So what can a baby do? It is very tiny, but he had a gigantic purpose to bless and save all the earth. Wow. And the second thing that we can learn from a mustard seed is that a mustard seed grows. So, though it started as the smallest of seeds when planted, it grows to be one of the largest of the garden plants. So, look at that. Small and <laughs> it grows fast right <laughs> and so we can uh, we can 
see that it's the same with Jesus. So let's go back to Jesus when he was 12 years old. So after three days, um, they, Mary and Joseph, found him in the temple courts, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. Everyone who heard him was amazed at his understanding and his answers, right? So when he was 12 years old, God is already growing in faith. So we grow in faith if we keep hearing and hearing the word of God. So right now you are hearing the word of God and you are growing in faith. Please say, I am growing. You are growing. So third and last thing that we can learn is that a mustard seed becomes a tree. So like this, a mustard seed, and then it can become a big tree, right? <laughs> okay, so just like tiny little mustard seed, it grew and matured to be a tree accomplishing its purpose giving rest and shade to the birds. Whatever small things, if we do it, and if we remain faithful and obedient to God, he can make something huge and great out of it. Be it in our lives, in our friends, in our families, in, in our country, or around the world. So God can take something small into blessings that reaches many. So don't overlook the mustard seed moments in your life. So we can share the word of God with someone. We can pray for our friends and family. And we can make small acts of generosity. And we can make small acts of kindness to someone today. So God's tree was so huge that you and I are part of it. So small things can become big things in God's hands. So small prayers may result in big encounters and mighty movements of God. A little encouragement may be a life or death for someone. So God uses what seems small to accomplish big things. Okay, so let us pray. So in Jesus' name, Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord God, for the parable, Lord God, of the mustard seed, Lord. And Lord, help us, Lord God, to be faithful, Lord God, in doing the small things, Lord God, for your kingdom. And Lord, grant us, Lord God, faith, Lord God, and grace, Lord God, to grow in hearing your word and in doing, Lord God, and in obeying you, Lord God. And Lord, we know and we claim, Lord God, that in the future, Lord God, those small things, Lord God, will grow into big things, Lord God, and will reach many people and many lives, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord God, to become, Lord God, a mustard tree, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord God, and we bless your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, good job. So for our application, okay, so this is the question. What mustard seed of faith or act of kindness will you start doing today? Please share your answers with your group or write it in your journal. So it can be sharing the word of God, praying for your friends and families, small acts of generosity, or small acts of kindness to someone. Okay, so that's it for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.